And now we go to Hayen Tower. And we're here. I want you to know, last night, Arakawa seemed at peace. Like an actor stepping off stage to thunderous applause. I think that's because he achieved his goals. He dissolved the Omi, and he got to see you again. He certainly looked like he was enjoying his Peking duck. I commented on it, actually. Can you believe this? He said he'd never had it before. What? He said he almost got to try it 50 years ago, but then his father was killed. And he'd never gotten around to ordering it again. Huh? After we finished, I said I'd walk him to his hotel, but he refused the offer. Said he wanted time alone to just take in the night air. I didn't push it. I just bid him a good evening and left. But if I had pushed it, he'd probably be alive right now. I failed him. No, it's not your fault. ask you something. Do you think it was only loyalists? Yes. No doubt in my mind. It was revenge for his role in dissolving the Omi. Men who saw fit to end someone's life over such a thing. How could Yakuza do that? Kill a captain like him? Kasuga. The Omi loyalists in Kanto are already attempting to form a new faction. They complain the loudest about the dissolution. I imagine one of them is the likely culprit. Forming a new faction? After killing Arakawa's son? Yes. Care to hazard a guess as to who is directing them? Because I think... It's the one man who could actually bring them to heel. Ryo Aoki. No. A young master? Ordering the death of his own father? He wouldn't be the first to commit patricide for power. The one silver lining is, with Arakawa gone, there's very few men Aoki can give direct orders to. What the? Kasuga, you should take revenge for Arakawa. Kasuga doesn't use guns. He uses fists. I can fists. lend you men from the Seiryu clan. I don't need guns. You won't seek vengeance? No. Arakawa-san wouldn't want me to kill the young master. I'm sure of that. Then, what will you do? Before he died, Arakawa talked about how sad it was the Yakuza were getting used. Used like pawns by people in power. That's why he disbanded the Omi. I think he wanted the Yakuza to go back to their roots. Like how they ought to use their power to help the weak and vulnerable. Not just take shit by force. That's how it was. That's how it could be again. Arakawa-san had a dream, and I can continue it. If all I do is kill one guy, especially if it's his son, all of Arakawa's sacrifices will be for nothing. If that's the only thing I do to honor him, I won't be able to face him in the afterlife. <sighs> what I really want to do 
is open the young master's eyes. Give him a wake-up call. Smack him upside the head if I have to. That's the best thing I could do. Kasuga, Arakawa was truly blessed to have you. Do what you think is right. I'm sorry if my idea of payback offended you in any way. I assure you it did not, Chairman. How do you plan on getting an audience with Aoki? You can't just walk into the Tokyo government office and ask to see the governor. <laughs> it's all good. I think I've got something figured out. You could pull a plan out of your ass just like that, huh? <laughs> Still. Going anywhere near Aoki will mean tight security. Take some of my men. At the very least, they'll bring your body back. I appreciate the offer, really. But I'll be fine by myself. I've already got the best crew I could ask for. Jeez, you waited for me? How'd it go? Fine. Sorry to run off and get treated to a fancy meal without you guys. Well, looks like it put some pep back in you. Yeah, I figure if I keep moping around, Arakawa-san's gonna come down and kick my ass. But anyway, how about we go visit Kume? Visit Kume? Why? To make him arrange a meeting. I want to meet with Aoki, and Kume's got the hookup. Seeing as he's Ogasawara's replacement. Sure, but why do you... I'm going to get him to start thinking and doing things like Arakawa-san would have wanted. Uh, sounds like a long shot. What makes you think Kume will cooperate with you? Oh, did I leave out the part where we rough him up? I mean, the guy deserves it. Hell yeah, he does. I'm in. Get out the bloodhounds and let's start the search. No search required. Today is announcement day. What's that? The deadline for every candidate to submit their paperwork. The political brawl has begun. Man, do you know everything? The fate of the Great Wall hangs on this election. Why wouldn't I be following it closely? Do you know where Kume would be on announcement day? Well, each candidate will give their first speech in their district, usually on a huge stage. Kume's district, Kanagawa's second, has a massive stage by the gate on Isazaki Road. Let's head over to Isazaki Road, then. You got it, Ichiban. And off we go. And we're here. Will the crime lords cackle with glee? Virtuous law-abiding citizens are cowering in fear. What's become of our once great nation? When did morality become the butt of the joke? I alone can deliver this country back into the hands of her upstanding citizenry! I am Sota Kume, and a vote for me is a vote for change! Damn. After all we've been through, I'm actually starting to agree with the guy. Come on, what he's saying is a load of crap. No matter how drunk everyone is on each Japan jungle juice. That kind of drunk can mess you up as bad as my kind. Tragic way. Kume is just another name on Aoki's long list of victims. Mm. Our enemies don't deserve our sympathy. Good point. Let's get him. That cheering is loud. Hey, mind letting us through? Excuse us. Hey, you can't just barge in here. Oh, sorry, sir. Could you just let us... Don't I know you? Oh, crap. Oh, yeah. You were a bodyguard in the parking lot. He's not the only guy we've seen before. There's a bunch of Omi here. Are the religious going to start a fight? You saved me the trouble of tracking you down. 
Time to pay for that shit you pulled in the parking lot. Won't people find this kind of suspicious though? Oh well, they're all gone. Thought you could interfere, did you? Well, not today. I doubt this was the only speech Kume's giving today. Where's he going right now? His campaign stops and stuff are listed on his website. The more people, the better. But I can promise you ain't getting close to Kume. Will he not talk to regular people? No. But don't worry, he's gonna win. Governor's orders. All y'all's been blacklisted as threats. You better get ready for the takeover. Man, they're everywhere. More Omi boys than I can count are rolling on over here to Injincho. Whole place will be swarmed. You won't be able to take a shit without us knowing. Fuckers! Aoki's always one step ahead of us. <laughs> I certainly am. What the? I realize there's no precedent for a governor to intervene in national politics. There's never been a precedent any time we advanced as a society. What about your critics who say you're just too young? That national politics is no place for schoolyard debates. <laughs> Are they implying local politics is some kind of playground? No, I don't think they're saying that. How about we take another look at the survey results? Whoa. That's a landslide. I can't read it even I though. Even I know that. The respondents said they support Governor Aoki assuming the role of party chair. The principal reason for their support was the success of the Kamrocho 3K plan. Do you have any comments about that Aoki sign? I couldn't have achieved the amazing results of a 3K plan without the Tokyo Metropolitan Police. That was how cooperation between law enforcement and local government should look. What about the Yakuza still in Kamurocho after the Tojo clan's collapse? There are rumors that a delegation of Kansai Yakuza have filled the void. By Kansai Yakuza, do you mean the Omi Alliance? Because I recently heard that they are officially dissolved. Yes, that is confirmed. But doesn't that in fact prove something else? Doesn't it prove we can reduce Yakuza activity without a risky policy like the Kamurocho 3K plan? It's not a risky policy. Not compared to the risks of letting Yakuza run free. I'm sure you've also heard that Masumi Arakawa, an officer who spearheaded the dissolution, was murdered. So you see, it may seem like this was a peaceful process, but I think it was anything but. As always, the underworld keeps hidden its dark, unseemly truth. On the other hand, the Kamurucho 3K plan didn't involve any murder at all. My plan was the perfect example of a peaceful process, accomplished with my expertise from Bleach Japan. Speaking of which, the Citizens Liberal Party is endorsing quite a number of Bleach Japan candidates this cycle. As party chair, what are your priorities? I want to rejuvenate the Citizens Liberal Party. The Bleach Japan candidates are young and brimming with energy. By harnessing that energy, I know we can bleach all the gray zones in this entire nation using Arakawa's death to win an election after all but pulling the trigger himself. Oh, it's disgusting. Just when I thought I couldn't hate politicians anymore, he gives me a reason. Guys, remember the mission. Kume's going to give another speech somewhere, so what do we do? 
Well, judging by how it went down here, we won't be able to lay a finger on him. Sounds like you're in a tight spot. Chairman? So, you figured your best path to Aoki was just to scare the shit out of Kume? <laughs> <laughs> Guilty as charged. But they're always one step ahead of us. Anyway, what are you doing here? I forgot to give you something. Back at Heian Tower. Can't think of what that be. What is it? Kazuga, did you already forget the task you entrusted to me? I didn't. I was wondering about that the entire time. What, you're giving me back the money? No, I thought you were going to give me a candidate. Finding a candidate? Yes. Remember the whole point of collecting all that money to make Kume lose? Yeah, did you find someone? Someone who can win? Well, I searched far and wide. But you didn't find anyone. But then, all of a sudden, it hit me. Yeah, lay it on me. Kasuga, you should run. Hell yeah. What? I only wish I'd thought of it earlier. Wait just a second. Back it up. Why the hell should it be me? I don't have a snowball's chance in hell of winning this. True. I doubt you'd even get enough votes to qualify for the return of your registration deposit. So why would you want to flush three million down the drain? Well, the money doesn't matter. It does to me. Huh. Three million yen is a deal if it gives us a chance to catch Kume. Not really following, Chairman. In every election, the candidates drive around in their trucks giving speeches. The district's not that big, so they frequently run into each other. When they do, it's customary for them to wish each other luck and shake hands. It's a farce, of course, but it's custom. That's your chance to get close to them. So if I run in the election, I can walk right up to Kume. Compared to Kume, you'd be a nobody, what they call a fringe candidate. Since Kume's victory is assured, he'll be expected to be a good sport. That includes not turning you down for a handshake if you ask for one. He can't just say no? If he did, everyone would say he acted like an arrogant jerk to the underdog. Bad press spreads quickly. Public opinion changes with the wind. You see how perfect it is? This is how you corner Kume. See, your original plan was to make Kume lose. But now the plan is just to use him as a stepping stone, correct? Uh, aren't you guys forgetting something? Ichiban did hard time for murder. Oh yeah, that's true. What's on your record. Once you've served your term, you can run. Really? What do you say, Kazuga? I wish I could tell you to take your time and think it over, but time is a luxury you don't have. The deadline to announce your candidacy is today. You have to decide right now. Then, I'll do it! Seriously? Just because it's legal doesn't mean it's sane, but... Then hurry to the election office and get your paperwork done. It's the government, so naturally they close pretty early. Wait, what time is it? Holy shit, guys. We gotta hurry. Let's run. All right, then. Where's the election office, anyway? Hell if I know. In the Nishihama building on Carriage Highway. Thanks! And here we are. <sighs> that was exhausting. If I have to sign one more form, I swear. Never imagined there would be that many. Well, of course. You're not exactly running for student council. I'm just glad we made it on time. Hey. Did you see that guy's face? <clears throat> he was about to snap. <laughs> Jesus, I can't do his voice. Well, nobody even likes that list minute arrival. But it worked out, thankfully. 
Don't act like it's over. The paperwork was just the beginning. Tomorrow, we hit the campaign trail. But I'm only running to get close to Kume. I don't actually have to campaign, do I? Not gonna happen. You do, actually. If Kume and the rest of society don't recognize you as a candidate, the plan will fall apart. Ah, she's right. How am I supposed to even campaign, though? I don't have an election van or even a megaphone. Well, then you better figure it out. I'm with Sachan. You gotta take this seriously. Eh, we'll figure it out tomorrow. Yeah. Totally conspicuous. Alright, I need to head to the survive bar anyway, so that I can level up my friendship. Hooray! What the? What is this? Kume must be kicking his campaign up a notch. Guess they already found out I'm running. Saves me the trouble of having a campaign strategy. You think this is a good thing? Now the whole town's gonna know about your criminal record. Don't worry about it, man. I wasn't planning on hiding the truth anyway. I see they already gave, have you in their sights. Hmm? Takabe-san. Our chairman would like you to have something. Chairman Hoshino? What would that be? This beauty. <clears throat> it's an old car we were using to sell things out of. But you can use it as your election van. Huh? For real? We even gave it a microphone and a loudspeaker. We dug those out of one of our strip club's warehouses. And this should give you at least a bare minimum of legitimacy. Kume can't run from you now. Thank you. Appreciate it, man. <laughs> now we're talking. Take care. Well then, should we pay Kume a visit? He's, he's scheduled to give a speech at a Hamakita party today. <laughs> nice. This time we'll corner him and make him talk to the young master. <laughs> Take us to talk to the young master. <laughs> Good luck. Well, let's just get in the car and roll over to Hamakita Park when you're ready. Alright, well we'll do that in the next one. But, I got a little present for your ending. Alright, Namba ended up downing an entire bottle of Legend Malt without paying. He tried to cover it with cheap imitation, but it's only a matter of time before he gets busted. Hey, Namba. Anything gone down yet with that legend malt? Well, I've been watching the counter like a hawk, but the bartender wasn't kidding when he said nobody comes here. Yeah, he did say this was more of a hobby for him. That's exactly it. The only people coming in are our friends like Adachi and Sachan. Which means that legend malt is probably just going to sit behind the counter for the rest of our lives. I was worried over nothing. I feel better already. Well, I don't know if you should be that relaxed about it. It's not like he'd carry something he was never going to sell. Oh, crap. Fancy guy in a suit. Hmm. What a lovely little establishment you have. Your first time in, sir? It is. See? He does get actual customers. First time I've seen a first-timer. I've heard some rumors about this place from some good sources. Oh, yeah? Rumors about what? That you carry the fabled whiskey known as the Legend Malt. <laughs> uh, well, then the rumors are true. Pour me a glass, then, bartender. If anyone can appreciate such a thing, it's me. Huh? Ah, Ichiban. What now? What can we do? We gotta apologize before it's too late. But I'm too broke to apologize. Forget about the money. You'll be in even deeper shit if he drinks that. I really must apologize, but my legend malt isn't for sale. What? Why would that be? Is it reserved for your regulars? Not exactly. I just don't think you're fit to order it. Excuse me. You say this knowing I'm the editor-in-chief of Good Dandy? He's from Good Dandy? No way. 
the hell's that? What's that? It's a rich man's magazine full of nice cars and swanky restaurants. Well, that's terribly unfortunate for you. If you had even a modicum of customer service, I'd have written you an absolutely dazzling review. Put me in your magazine or don't. That's your call to make. Believe you me, I'll be giving you the front page. Everyone's going to know about the snob running this backwater hole. This your idea of a quarrel, sir? Perhaps, but was it not you who flung the first stone? No. Fine. You back me into a corner here. The legend malt on that shelf is something I ordered for a very special customer. I don't intend to offer it to anyone but her. And what makes her so special? The fact that she stole my heart. Oh, oh no. That bottle was to be a symbol of my affection. Time and time again, she would tell me how she dreamt of being able to try it. So I took it upon myself to indulge her and waited for her to arrive. But for as long as I waited, she never came through the door. Six months went by, then a year, until I finally got word that she had been in a car accident. She was taken from me. In some ways, that legend malt is the only thing I have left of her. God, no. Given that, are you still going to insist I pour it? Man, even he just up and left. I have walked through the doors of many a bar in my time, but I've never met a bartender with a tail like that. That quiet strength, the very essence of good dandy magazine. He didn't even get to take a whiff of the bottle. And now he never will. I guess that settles it. Yeah. Dude. Now it's even bigger than we thought. We gotta do the honest thing and come clean. Why? Didn't you hear that story? The legend malts a treasure of his lost love. Ugh, I know, but I'll never be able to replace it on pocket change. It doesn't matter. I'll help you pay it off. Well, if you can't do it alone, then I'll help out. Y you serious, Ichiban? Yeah. All I've been doing till now is help you find ways to dodge the problem. What I should have done is help you do the right thing. Meaning, I'm just as guilty. We're in this together, man. Ichiban, you're a great guy, you know that? But I can't take advantage of you like that, man. I've got to come up with that money somehow. <laughs> what a jackass. He swallowed that story hook, line, and sinker. Oh, thank God it's not real. That long lost love of mine? She never even existed. Then why wouldn't you pour him the legend malt? Back when I opened the place, I figured I'd need some high end stuff behind the counter to draw in the big spenders. So I picked up an empty bottle of legend malt and filled it with bargain barrel whiskey, purely for show. <laughs> she orders anything that expensive. But every once in a while, a dimwit like him waltzes in. So I give them the same old sob story and they scatter like roaches. Wait, so Namba, that means what you drank was bottom shelf swill. <laughs> you gotta be shitting me. Hey, what the hell's so funny? You gotta hear this. Guess what Namba did? Come on, don't say it. Don't you dare. Uh, sir, you can ignore this. <laughs> I don't understand you people. Guess it was the look of that bottle that got me thinking it was real. That ever happened to you? The taste is all in your head? Hey, just be grateful you don't have to worry anymore. I still have to worry about people finding out. Ichiban, you wouldn't tell Adachi or Sachan about this, would you? Y you can't. Don't worry, man. I wouldn't rat you out like that. So... Keep it a secret. Yeah. Well, you have to buy me a drink. Bargain barrel whiskey, okay? Sure. It's a deal.
I was wondering if anyone would show up. I didn't expect it to be you. Aren't you busy? Should you really be drinking right now? <laughs> I'll drink whenever the hell I want to drink, Zhao. And don't forget, I was a regular at this place before you were. Oh, <laughs> is that how you want to play it? Okay, well, if we're doing that, then who's the newcomer in Jin Show, Kasuga? You or me? Uh, fair point. Man, this whole schooling you as your senpai thing sure is embarrassing. Yeah, yeah, you win. <laughs> anyway, sit down, yeah? You know, when we're out drinking like this, it's hard to imagine you ever being the leader of a gang. Everyone's the same once you strip off the mask they put on for work. Rich, poor, leader, follower, whatever. You never know what people are really like. <laughs> Gotta strip them down. You know, I'm sort of a sight to behold when I strip down. How about, wanna see? <laughs> oh, I'm easy on the eyes myself. Why get our naked asses tossed out just to prove it? <laughs> My point is, you can't tell if someone's a big shot just from looking at him. It's not like we were born with some special trait or anything. All jokes aside, there's this whole idea of being next in line just because you're the boss's son. No logic in it, but it's always there. Yeah, can't choose who your parents are. But still, wasn't there some way you could have given up the throne? Not everybody's cut out to run a gang. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. And I'm sure somebody else would have stepped up if you had stepped down. Most important thing in any group is the leader being a good fit. I don't know if I was a good fit or not, but I was a pretty sharp kid back then. <laughs> if I put my mind to it, I could excel at pretty much anything. Sports, school, all that shit. And I don't remember losing any fights, either. I was a lot craftier than the other kids. Sounds like you were pretty talented. I just didn't give a flying fuck, that's all. Yes, that's what happens when you're good at everything. Real modest, aren't you? Up until I swapped places with my old man, we were always fighting with our rivals in Chinatown. But after their boss, Lao Ka Long, bit the big one, the Ejin Three got their stalemate going. Your rivals from Chinatown? Are you talking about the Snake Flower Triad? Or <laughs> they were pretty crazy. Ah, they pulled out of Japan a long time ago. There's not many of them left. Oh, so you became the leader of the Yokohama Lumong after the Snake Flower Triad was out of the picture? Just about. Had to have been almost ten years ago. Honestly, the whole thing was a pain in the ass. Hmm. Ogi Kubo let me in on the whole counterfeit bills thing right away. Also told me about how the stalemate in Ijin Shell was rigged from the start. Still can't hardly believe that. The only people in the Liumong that knew about that were my dad and the old guard. The new boys kept saying they wanted to move in and take over, but it was always up to me to keep them on their leashes. Hmm. <sighs> then there was no ambition this and weak ass bitch that. Sounds like a fun job, eh? <laughs> Haven't seen this side of you before, Zhao. You're really starting to open up and let loose. How many have you had? Uh, it's not like I gotta worry about the gang anymore. So I'll get as drunk as I damn well please. Is that a problem? Hell no, it's not. I was just saying, it's been fun. Fun, huh? Well, maybe I have shown too much of my hand. If I was still the boss, my bodyguards would stop me by now. Oh, really? I hope I didn't kill your buzz. Nah, I know you're the kind of guy that just says whatever pops into his head. <sighs> I'm gonna go sober up. Yeah, sure. Let's get another drink when you're up for it. <laughs> Sounds good. Same goes for you, all right? <laughs> yeah, looking forward to it. <laughs> 